Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here today with the Spanish Bible. Now, I get asked a lot, people ask, they'll say, now what is the best Spanish Bible on the market? And there is just a total diversity of opinion on that, just like there is on English Bibles. But this, my understanding is, is if you want one the closest to the King James, that this is it. The Rani Valera Gomez 2010 is supposed to be fantastic. Now a man that's also very pro-King James by the name of Robert Breaker, or Breaker I think, I'm not positive how to pronounce it, uh, has said that this still has errors in it, but many pro King James people have really gone to this. This particular one is put out by Chick Publications. I was very impressed with the quality. It's a hardback, cost $17.95 from Chick. And it also, they put this in here, a little booklet, which Chick Publications, that's kind of their bread and butter, is these little booklets. And they do tracks, and then like David Daniels has one. And so I've studied Spanish before uh, a few different times. I took it for two years in high school, but uh, it did not come nearly as easy to me as, say, Greek did or Hebrew did. Um, came to me probably about like Latin did, which is not good at all. Vinny Vitti Vecchi he came, he saw, and he ate salad. But anyhow, this is what you get when you open it. You can tell it's very good print. It looks like it, like a 10-point print. And many times in pew Bibles this size, you don't get print like that. So I was highly impressed with the print. It's a little bit of a lighter print but very little ghosting. And so this is why I thought this was a uh, high quality hardback, just because of the size of the print, it's not minuscule, it's not like the 695 hardbacks you buy, like Pew Bibles from Zondervan and Nelson. They're great, they're great quality, but they're not this size print. I know local church Bible publishing was publishing some large print Pew Bibles, but I don't think they're doing that anymore. And then at the back, it had an excellent Concordia Tomatica, which I'm going to guess a themed concordance, but it is a lot of pages. I'm going to try to see exactly how many pages here. So it starts on page 1128 and goes through 1246. So what is that, about 118 pages? It does not have maps. It does have some uh, blank uh, pages at the back. But overall, just a good handy size. It's got the, it doesn't have a ribbon marker, but the uh, ribbon bands, multicolored. So I just thought I'd make you aware. I know I was teaching a seminar up in North Dakota recently and a Hispanic gentleman says, uh, what would you say is the best Spanish Bible? And I said, the, uh, as far as I know, the uh, Reina Vera Gomez 2010. And he said, well, what's wrong with my 1960 version? I said, well, that's still very close. It's still very good. You asked me what was the best. So um, this is, in my opinion, the best that I know of. People I really trust in the movement. I know some people like the 1865 version. Again, Breaker evidently has another version that is out. I don't know how to access that. I've looked for it on eBay. I found his book on eBay, but again, I don't know how to purchase it. So this one, and again, my understanding on this is that it's kind of sweeping parts of the Hispanic world, and there is a tremendous revival going on wherever you have Hispanic. So often, you have Pentecostal revival. And so, wanted to make you aware of this, the version, the Randy Valera Gomez 2010 by Jack Chick Publications. You can Google search it. God bless you. Keep living for Jesus Christ. Amen.